Hey guys, Wait. it's me, your Aunt Cheryl. You never call me anymore. I just want to know how fourth grade's going. <laughs> I heard you're struggling with math, but I know I know a book, McKenna. Swallow ear worthers. This episode was brought to you by Werther's Original Candy, the old lady candy that has gotten me through literally five years of my life. I got a pound for Christmas, and about five pieces are remaining. So, guys, um, as you probably know, if you don't, I don't know what, where you've been or anything, but, um, there is a new girl of the year, given that the year just turned to a new year. So, a new girl of the year is bound to appear. <laughs> Anywho, so you're probably wondering, Paige, Kylie... What's up? Where is your Kira video? Your best and worst extravaganza, blah blah blah. I mean, we haven't posted since my birthday. And we don't really have- Oh wait, that was New Year's. Never mind. But Instagram was my birthday. We don't really have a reason. And we don't have to explain ourselves. No, I'm kidding. Um, our grandmother is moving in and we have a nephew coming and, um, well, like, you know, things get crazy. And you know what? You just gotta deal with it. This is life. This is But you know what? We aren't robots. We are humans. But you know what? You know whose life is even crazier than ours? Hear us. Um, so anyways, let's just get started. Um, we're basically doing the same thing, the ranking. We're gonna tally her score, then look way back, like, from two years ago, <laughs> of the whole, like, all of the girl of the years. Like, we did with Blair, like we did with Joss, we added them in. But we're gonna show you where they line up, like, what number they are, I guess. I don't know. Anywho, let's get on with how we start our video, which is... Starting with Kira Bailey's name. Kira Bailey. Now, Kira will always and forever remind me of my first grade best friend. <laughs> um, we had some issues, and I really don't want to get into it, but let's just say in second grade, I accidentally gave her a concussion. No, she... No, we're not going to get into a it. Shovel we're not going to get into it. off a piece of her I'm scalp. not a violent person, and I, didn't, I did not ever intend to hit her with a shovel. For me, Kira also hits the, um, just makes me want to go, there's a camera, and a camera, and a camera, another camera, and another autograph to sign back love, Kira! But back to the whole shovel thing, I swear it's not what it seems, and it wasn't like a, I was, you, you know what, I don't have to explain myself, but she reminds me of that, and, well, if we're gonna get into it, no, we're not gonna get into it, but let's just say that that girl, um, Brings back some very, uh, strange memories for me. Anyways, um, so we have a very weird relationship, except we did bond over our mutual love of High School Musical, and I distinctly remember that when High School Musical 3 came out, um, I slept over at her house, and I had my light-up sleeping bag that played We're All In This Together when you smacked the <laughs> wildcat paw. Anyways, sometimes the word there's go straight to my head, which is why this is going to be a very strange video for you guys. But Kira Bailey. Bailey is a last name. You know, I'm kind of indifferent to it. To me, it doesn't sound like a last name. I mean, I see, I don't think it's like an ugly last name, and I guess it could be a last name. But it's yeah. one of those last names that just sound like a first name. So Kira Bailey. Kira, as I mentioned before, I have um, some weird associations with. That doesn't take apart, like, I mean, I associate with a few things, and it doesn't take away like the, the actual name itself kira it's is fine it's Kira. it's not it's not ugly it's it's not it's it's, it's fine. kira um i would give it a four yeah i don't know it's just, kira bailey it's just like, it's just a four for me mm -hmm. it's not it's not like ooh, you got a cool name it's like oh i'm kira bailey okay so was five other people in my elementary school now <laughs> on to the most disappointing part of kira herself which is the way she looks yeah um i'm She's, not gonna lie when I saw Kira for the first time, my immediate reaction was, oh, what a shame. Hi, Julie. And, yeah, hi, Julie, I'm sister. just so disappointed. I was expecting a completely new face mold, it, like always. I want something new, like, making, or just sneaking, even the Jess mold, like, it hasn't even been used since Jess. Yeah, so you can't get over the resemblance to Julie. They're definitely 
if not twins, they look like sisters to me. Sisters. And then Kira's like the prettier sister because she has like Ever so she has like green eyes, not brown eyes, and she has wavy-ish hair, which actually so, is not that wavy. So I don't ha- know how to tell you this, guys, but it's the same thing. We're sick and tired of seeing the Josefina mold. It's overused, overdone. Sick of the blondes. Sick of the green eye, blonde hair, light skin. It's just really boring and overused at this point. And all I can say is I'm disappointed. Is she absolutely... It's, it's, it's not her fault because... Does she make me want to barf? No. Do Am I jumping out screaming for joy? Absolutely not. I, I'm i disappointed. Like, the, of course we're gonna just... Not have, surprised. Of course we're gonna, ha- like, have different opinions on these different dolls because obviously, like, some blonde hair, green eye doll girl the years have been released before her and then you're like oh my god she's so pretty and then now you're here and you're like oh you're still here yeah so in the trail of girl of the years she is very insignificant appearance wise she is not making any splashes or any milestones whatsoever and that's disappointing one thing i do want to mention is that a lot of people have been posting in their stories that she's emma and they, from H2O. It, from H2O, which, as you guys know, I love. Um, but... Emma is most certainly not a host of That is... Mold. How would you... Why would you say that to my poor Emma? My poor Emma Gilbert does not deserve She's that. She's so much prettier, first of all. Emma is gorgeous. And I think that Emma is and not a host of Fina Mold at all. I, I, I love how people literally associate her with... To be Emma because she's going to Australia. And Emma is Australian. Anyways, back to her... Very disappointed in her appearance. Um, she's not the ugliest doll I've ever seen. She's a prettier Julie. Prettier Julie. Why would they do? They should have just. They should have just changed Julie to look like this. But, and as far as <laughs> rank, as far as ranking goes, she's just so completely, utterly boring and disappointing. I'm gonna have to get her a three point five. That's generous. A three. I mean, I can see why you guys like her, obviously. We're n- we are not bashing her, calling her ugly in any way. I know a lot of you guys have gotten Kira. but it's I'm just, just saying when you compare it to other Girl of the Years, yeah, she's nothing special. We've, we've collected these kind of dolls. We've seen these kind of dolls. We've been around a while, guys. We're adults. Um, That's a little weird. So, like, I'm just saying we've seen we've seen this film before. I think I've seen this And I this didn't like the ending. Before. But, yeah, let's move on off of, let's move on her appearance and give her a chance. You were my Kira. And once again, guys, love Kira! Moving on to Miss Kira's collection, starting with her meat outfit. Some things that I like about this meat outfit. The skirt. The skirt. This (laughs) shirt, I hate to break it to you guys, it's not... It's not pretty. At all. It's a, um, I feel like we're pulling, like, another Jess here. I Story-wise, too, but, like... We'll get into that later. <laughs> I don't mind the shoes. I actually think they're kind of cute. And I do like the socks and boot little moment. I think it's kind of cute. I do love the button skirt. The shirt is hideous. I wish her, I wish her outfit could have been, like, kind of an all-green, kind of more neutral look. Because yeah, it's I a think- really neutral green. I think it could have really pulled something off. But of course it had to be pink and it had to look really weird. Yeah. They had an weird, opportunity. Weird mix up here. Like I feel like I'm looking at two different outfits. Yeah, like the bottom half and the top half are, are two, two different. <laughs> I'm really they yeah. they I wish they would have just, you know, made another outfit. But cute made, skirt. Cute skirt. Got to just give her that. That's it. Here are Kira's accessories for $24. So she has a hat, a backpack, a little, all oh, the keychain's adorable. The keychain is super cute. Um, what's the, the cards? For like postcards or something? I think this makes sense. I think these accessories make sense for your doll, and it could be a fun little added bonus to your doll. I mean, I think that this is kind of an upgrade from typical gaudy accessories. Yeah, it really goes along with her story. I appreciate it. It makes sense to me, and I respect it. It adds a lot. I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm, I think they, they kind of... Stepped up their game a little bit. But once again, it, it would look really stupid with her outfit. Yeah. Like it is here. Here it is seen on the doll with a co- her koala. We'll talk about him later. Um, but Quite the look. That is awful. Like, purely awful. Okay. Make two outfits, hon. Next is Kira's casual outfit for $36. My gosh. I 
Okay. What, does her shirt say something? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. I actually don't mind the skirt. I like the shape of the skirt a lot. Exactly. I like the length of the skirt. I don't even mind the pattern. I think the skirt's cute. Once again... The top half is, is where it's this, going wrong. Like, why are they... They're making her have the most bizarre, like... combination Outfit choices. Like, why a vest with that kind of skirt? Right. So that's, the, like, it, weird. The combination is weird, but I do like the sandals, and I like the skirt. And I, I kind of feel the headband. And I like the top half and the shirt with the headband as its own outfit. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. It's and then the bottom half as its own outfit. Yeah. It's cute. It just seems like two separate outfits. Uh, and uh, another thing to note, once again, people are automatically associating her with Australia because she visits Australia and what comes from Australia and girls is H2O, and people have been saying that this looks like something Cleo with the skirt looks like a Cleo skirt. And which, that's just because it looks like something from the early 2000s. But we're it's not a cute get skirt. It. It's I like cute, it. though. I really like it's it. It's cute in a 2000 tacky kind of way. Yeah. I like the length, the, the cut of it, though. I see, I like dresses like that, so I like the skirt a little bit. So then we have Kira's comfy camping outfit for $32. She looks like a Teletubby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or like really Bob the Builder. She looks like a minion or like Thor the Explorer. Okay, well, let's not get into it. She, 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 oh my god. She looks like the strawberry shortcake girl that's, that's like caramel corn or something. Like, does she or does she not? I don't she looks like the backyard again, the pink one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Uniqua? Yeah, she looks like Uniqua. This outfit is so Uniqua. <laughs> you can say that again. Honestly, this is something that, I, like, you would wear if you were, like, a child actress. <laughs> and your mommy said, okay, honey, I know that you're sick and tired of working, but if you go audition for Barney, I will get you an ice cream. You need to wear this outfit to Barney, and you need to smile at those audition people. But it's, like, cute in that sense, which is, is weird. But if you don't smile at those stinking audition, if you don't sparkle, if your eyeballs do not sparkle at those audition people, I will smack you. But if you do sparkle and you get that callback, we're going to McDonald's Playland. Now, she only has three outfits, guys, her meat outfit, and then... The other two, this being her, um, this looks comfy like, camping. You know what this looks like? But this looks like an outfit that McKenzie would wear in the cutaways of Dance Moms. I just want to stay home and eat some chips. <laughs> Why do I feel like this is the highlight of her outfits, though? No. <laughs> I'm just... No. It, they're all so bad right now. No. They're not bad. This it's, is the worst for me. They're not bad. It's just, like... Are you trying to sell mix and match pieces here? Because, like... She kind of looks like an alien who came to planet <laughs> Earth, and she saw, like, the Visco trend, and she's like, Hey, fellow kids, I also love the environment. Let me be loose and baggy so I can show how much I love the turtles. At, at the same time, I don't hate it. I do. I think I like her hair in she this. She kind of looks like a popsicle. I think... <laughs> oh, I think or, I... like, funfetti cake. I think I just like her ha the way her hair looks with the headband. Or, headband. like, a girl from the Netherlands who never saw the sun, so she stinking, like, translates, she cuts up her own <laughs> snow suits when she finally goes to the sun. She literally just rip off these sleeves. Uh, I like the yellow. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Next, we have Kira's Koala PJs for $24, and this is probably my favorite outfit. This is the highlight. Be I Like I said, I do not hate the other outfits by that i just really mean her casual outfit um we're not giving her comfy camping a choice a chance right now um Love but i like i like the the bottom part of it and the the skirt okay, okay, okay. but this outfit i full-on like and i because first of all the color that it is is, is one of baja green baja blast green which as you guys know is our representative and rep endorsement and ambassador it's our biggest sponsor um it's our biggest it's the thing that gets me through the day we have, <laughs> it, i'm not even kidding we, we, we have, i would not live without baja blast um <laughs> at least four times a week uh well more than that or as let's, prescribed let's not talk about it <laughs> but anyways love the slippers love what she's doing here she could be a baja princess i could take a doll in these pajamas to taco bell and they'd be like hey it, That's pretty nice. It's cute with the koala, too. Like, I appreciate it. The koala brothers, you know? What? 
Oh, God, that just gave me flashbacks. <laughs> I, I just thought about that, too. And that I just unlocked I can't a memory. Un- that just unlocked a 6 a.m. eating cold cereal memory. Maybe that's where she's from. Maybe she... Maybe? No, those are animals. No, 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 Kylie. I'm talking about... Maybe she was the missing character on the Koala Brothers. No, they were only animals. And that's why she has that outfit. Next, we have Kira's outdoor accessories for $30. <laughs> oh my god. This is really the, bad. The glasses are intense with this, this look. Looks like- why do I feel like I've seen this in, like, a Scooby-Doo episode or something? Like, where they had, like, the, the scarf thing over their face, then the glasses, like... Did someone do that? Am I making that up? I don't know. I'm tying this to a picture. I just don't know what it is. I'm tying this to a picture of a young 30-something mom who wants to go hiking. I feel like this neck thing is going around her, like, face. And then she's got the glasses. Like, I'm ready to brace the wild. No, she's Let me disguise a myself. young 30-something mom who wants to go hiking. Mom? Yeah, and feed the birds vegan oatmeal cookies. <laughs> what even is this, like... Under that she the, got from Whole Foods, the sh- by the way. This shirt under her vest. Which I love Whole Foods. You know what I miss? I miss a good fire wood baked Whole Foods pizza. They were so wholesome. <laughs> Those were my favorite. And then we go bowling afterwards. Those were the days. All right, guys. Next is Kira's kangaroo and Joey for thirty dollars. You know what my doll needs. <laughs> you know what my dollhouse has been missing, and I didn't realize till this moment. A kangaroo. Just, like, casually in the living room. <laughs> Plus, like, the proportions are off. Like, has anyone shown this kangaroo next to a doll? Um, I will pull that up. Because I don't, I think it'd be short. I will show that right here, guys. Definitely dollar store kangaroo. Um. I, just by the stuffing. Like, it doesn't look realistic. No, it's a dollar store I miss when they use real rabbit fur. <laughs> Me too. Those were the no, no, that, no, those were vegetarian. Those were still bad, guys. Yeah, we're vegetarian. Um. Yeah, that's, that's her, cool. It's a kangaroo, man. And then we have her koala, Kira's koala, which, which everyone's obsessed with. Twenty five dollars because it's a big part of her story. This I know. And I think it, like is this the koala bean or whatever? I don't know. Bean bur- she, it, it them is cute, but definitely dollar store quality. This looks like I picked it up at the definitely dollars, like, dollar store the quality. Little part where all those little what are those things called? They get say like ty on them, and they got like big sparkly eyes. Beanie babies? Yeah, I don't know, man. Is that what they called beanie babies? Those those aren't beanie babies. Those are, but yeah, it's a koala, but it's not a realistic koala. But it's cute, but it doesn't look like a koala. Cool. Next. The koala brothers are really offended, and this is really um ra- racist. No. <laughs> what were their names? I miss them. Not really. I really hated that show. The show was hecka weird. There was nothing entertaining about hey, it. Hey, Siri. What is the name of the koala's brothers on Disney Junior? Frank and Buster. Frank and Buster. Next, we have um one of her... Oh, one of her bigger ticket items, which is... Which, they really focused on the furniture and things rather than her outfits. I'm really disappointed with that part of her collection. Anyway, we have Kira's animal exam table for $125, which... Definitely looks Barbie quality. It does. Not good. But it's great to examine your doll stuffed animal. That's creepy. Um, just put this in your living doll living room, and there you have it, guys. Definitely wouldn't buy it. Definitely don't recommend. Oh my god, the koala's but on the table. live your life. I mean, yeah. You live I mean, if, if you want to like act out her story, like that's not how I play with my dolls. Which, but, but I never did. But I never really did that. Like I didn't take stage in her high air balloon and go like, "Oh my god, she's flying in New Mexico." But you know what? If you do that, you live your life. I'm excited for you. I'm happy for you. And if you want an animal exam table for a hundred and twenty five dollars, and you get that, I am so proud of you for living your dreams. Yeah, I mean, it goes with her story. I am that's so just, proud of you. It goes with her story, but that's not how we play the game. Uh, that's not how we play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have Kira's wildlife rescue set for fifty dollars. Ouch! What, what the heck is that thing? The price? No, the animal. What the Jesus? <laughs> 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 oh wait! The- what the heck is that? I think that's it's a, a big- meatball no, with wait. legs. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. Why does that head have legs on it? What the heck is that? It's, wait, Kylie, I think I know who no, this what I is. I know that? who this is. What is that? I think this is the the baby koala. How? Pull what is that? I need wait, a side wait, profile. Sh- this this is the image. <laughs> what the heck is that? Wait, this is an image of I'm pretty sure Bean, which is the new <sighs> Joey that she rescues or like they rescue. Joey. And they have like a custody battle or <laughs> in her friend. What the heck is the thing? Wait, okay, one second. Why okay, would well, you want I'm that? gonna look something up. Okay, guys, guys, we just looked up an image of a baby koala, and um, as far as like is. the tone of this, like of his uh, fur, he, is, he looks like he could be a baby koala, but really, this is definitely a bad angle, a bad repre- like angle of bad it. everything. You could have made him a different shape. Why <laughs> he is looks he, like a little grim. Oh my god, he's a Zuzu pet. He looks like a Zuzu. No, he looks worse than a Zuzu pet. He looks like... But I'm pretty... Guys, I'm pretty sure this is Bean, which is the one that's in the story. I'm pretty sure that koala that we just saw was just a koala. Okay. But I... this is no ordinary koala. He's a meatball. But this is $50? Like, what the heck? It's all plastic. Buy your own koala meatball. Yeah, quick step. Next up, we make it. Next. Here is comfy camping accessories for eighty five. I'm not gonna lie. Dollars. I'm not gonna lie. Th- this looks like something that people nowadays would have like on their back in their backyard it's next to their pool. It's definitely giving me like uh, Kanani vibes. I know, but I feel like I've seen this like uh, minus the kangaroo. I'm saying like people who have like pools and like cool yards and stuff like just have like this kind of like area. Or, usually it's like, like this with like a fire pit. Like, I don't know if y'all have ever been to a California suburb, but if you have a pool in a California suburban house, this is what the middle-aged women set exactly. Up. They they um, like set up these little like fold-up chairs and with like they change the pillows due to seasons and yeah. stuff and like. But it's cute. Not eighty-five dollars ever. I could get two chairs for myself for eighty-five dollars. Exactly. But, but I I like what they were going at here. It's not so cheesy. Next is Kira's biggest item, which is Kira's comfy platform tent. No, I'm not gonna lie. This is two for um two hundred and twenty five dollars. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen some cute pictures of this. I've seen some cute things done with this. What's really surprising to me is how deep in this goes. Like yeah. it fits the whole bed. It's got the bed, the stuff. So like it has her whole like kind of bed included. It's it, that's I'm, pretty. I'm that's just, that's a lot included. For, I'm just not a fan of. Big items like this, and I don't think it's anything particularly special. I've seen things similar. Um, this actually, um, a lot of people and me, um, this is Leah's little yeah. tree, her hut thing, but they just, like, made it pink and added a bed. Yeah, so it's not It made good. it deeper, but I really appreciate that there's stairs and a deck and it goes deep and you got, like, kind of a doll room. Yeah, but I don't like it. It's too expensive. Well, well, I, it, just because of the price, but I'm saying, like, if it was cheap, like, I like this. Go build yourself one at Home Depot and For Michaels. real, guys, like, I, we could build this. Just DM us, and we'll tell you how. All right. Well, I mean. This is why American Girl will never, like, this is why American us. Girl will never endorse us. I know. Well, also because, well, there's a lot of reasons, but. <laughs> What's the other reason? <laughs> what? Well, because we, like, make their dolls Muppets and stuff. Muppets. Or are we like Mary Logan and Yeah, I think they I think they would just think that there there's something psychologically wrong with us. The jury's still out about that. Um, moving on. So this is her ultimate collection set, which you can get her pajamas. I haven't seen blah, blah, blah. they haven't really oh, done look, this with that's a gaudy. A new side profile oh my of god, the baby pant koala. Why is he flat? It looks like though. a Zuzu pet. Yeah, why okay. it shouldn't be flat. His head is he so should large. have some curvature or be sitting up. He's, why can't he He looks like a loaf of bread? Hey, for real though, why can't he be sitting the way the other koala is? But anyways, tinier. Anyways, like this isn't creepy. So her ultimate collection is sixty dollars. Pretty Th- good deal. This is not everything. Like, this not obviously yeah. doesn't have her big um, lawn chairs or her tent. Okay, this is a pretty cool bundle. Anyways, let's rate her collection. I would give it, personally, I'm going to give it a five. Uh, yeah, I'd say a five. There's but... some redeeming qualities, but it's definitely average. But we like her anyway, in a weird way. She's kind of intriguing in a she... boring way. I'm really excited for her story, though, guys. We got a lot coming. Here is her story. Moving on to her okay, story. Okay, her story's really mixed up. Hey, guys. 
this is the part where I ask you if you're still listening. Are you still here? Comment, um, Zuzu Pet in the comment section below if you guys made it here. <gasps> they might not know how to spell Zuzu Pets. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll put it up for you. Don't worry. Okay. Anyway, um, whatever, um... So, let's start with our story. Now, guys, we really, that's a big reason why we didn't do this on the first or um, before the first or anything like that is because we didn't know every detail about her story. And we're always like, can she do this? Or, like, they have an illness. Like, what what the heck is the illness or whatever. You're in, I, we wanted the details. We wanted to get it right. We have a lot of facts here that are kind of stirred up, but we will kind of edit them in the best order we can make of it. But let's start from where um, the books... Anyways, before we get started, we want to give a big shout out to biggest AG fan ever because she gave us a lot of the info and the tea and the dirt on Kira. And we appreciate that. And a shout out to Allie Cat Loves AG for um, asking um, on her story for us and things when our phone was broken about her story. Not our phone. Your phone that you shattered on the bathroom floor. Okay. Anyway, but let's start with, um, before we get into that, let's just read the basic synopsis of all of her books, and then we'll throw in the facts, and then I'll edit in the facts. Cool. So it's gonna sound weird, guys, but here we go. Kira moves from Michigan and goes to Queensland. She helps to make a difference. She hopes to make a difference through wildlife protection and climate change action. Um, Kira is a nurturing and inquisitive 10-year-old who cares deeply for animals and the environment. In her story, Kira looks after an orphan koala, Joey, and faces, and faces a bushfire that is threatening her great aunt's wildlife sanctuary in Australia. The book is not set during the 2020 wildfires. Some people think that they actually are... Um, they mention those wildfires in the book, though. Um, like, those are mentioned, the 20 ones that just happened, which is kind of cool. It's actually set in June 2021, so it's like... In the future. Kira confronts critical ecological issues, such as wildlife protection and the threat of climate change, that are more relevant to our planet than ever. Um, Kira is excited to leave her home state of Michigan and spend her summer abroad at her great aunt's Mammy's and Lynette's Wildlife Sanctuary and Vet Clinic in Queensland, Australia. But, um, if you guys don't know, her aunts are, um, lesbian and... So anyways, she has two aunts. It's, um, Ma Mammy or Mamie and Lynette. And they're married to each other. Which, Which is, is really, cool. it's, that's really awesome for, um, American Girls to represent. Um, that's, I, I appreciate that about her story. There, she learns to care for injured and orphaned animals with her new friend, Alexis. But when a roving predator and a raging bushfire threaten the sanctuary, Kira must rise to the challenge and protect her family and the animals she loves. In the end, Kira learns, you can't let the fear of the worst keep you from living your best. Amen to that. I'm going to get that tattooed that, that's on my forehead. Deep, man. That's, like, beautiful. Th that was just her, like, character synopsis um, from Good Morning America. Now let's talk about what's on the back of her book. <laughs> yeah. Just when Kira thinks life at the sanctuary couldn't get any better, Great Aunt Mammy's... We don't know if it's Mammy or Mamie. We're going to go with Mammy. Great Aunt Mammy's health... I think it's Mammy. I think it's Mammy. Health takes a turn for the worse. Um, so, her, the health problem, um, that her mammy or Mamie is facing, um, is that her aunt collapsed while Kira was helping her in one of the animal enclosures, and she was rushed, rushed to the hospital and was in the hospital for the second half of the first book, which is crazy. Um, they determined that she had, uh, that she has heart disease because of this, they're all talking about veteran... Possibly, they're all talking about. <laughs> because of this, they're going to take her to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's midnight. I'm sorry. Yeah, Mammy, okay. we have to take you out to pasture. <laughs> um, because of this, they are talking. <laughs> Because of this, they are talking about possibly having her retire and getting a new veterinarian for the rescue center. <laughs> the second book, she is resting a lot because she is still recovering after getting out of the hospital. And Kira's efforts to rehabilitate Bean, the orphan koala, aren't going well. 
Distracted, Kira leaves the door to the wombat cage open, and the baby wombats escape. Suddenly, nothing is going right, and Kira doesn't know how to fix it. For the first time, the girl who likes to be prepared feels... unprepared. <laughs> Kira's always really prepared. At first, Kira has a tendency to avoid the things most upsetting to her. She puts off visiting her aunt in the hospital because her illness is hard to face. When the wombats escape, Kira thinks, this was all my fault. I want to zip myself in a tent until it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. Um, Wait, I don't think that was on the back of the <laughs> what, where, where did you get that direct quote? <laughs> I don't know where I where found that. Where did you find that? I don't know where that part came. That's not in the book. But Kira learns that avoiding a problem doesn't make it go away. Oh my god, is she depressed? She puts the wombats and her beloved koala Joey in danger, and her new friend Alexis won't talk to her. Hey guys, we're gonna insert a little clip here and hope that we don't get copyrighted from American Girl, and it's of Alexis. They're in the little stop motion series again, and it's of Alexis and Kira, and they're like so mad. Okay, basically okay. what happened is... <laughs> Alexis was told by, she works at the, the little clinic rescue, whatever it is, um, for her aunts and, or whatever, whoever it is, I don't know, and <laughs> she was, like, said, like, oh, you're gonna get to take care of the next baby koala, and then Kira comes along and takes it, and she's like, he was supposed to be my baby koala! It's Honestly, just, it seems it, like a very important, um, custody battle, I hope... <laughs> That this divorce And is... that, that's why Alexis, like, isn't speaking to her. Kira can go first. She's our guest after all. I'm not a guest. I'm family. Great job, little bean. Did you know that I was supposed to raise the next baby koala? And it's not fair that you're the only one taking care of bean. They have to be strong. And remember that this is the best for bean. Can Akira find a way to catch a roving predator along with a few wayward wombats and to earn back everyone's trust? Eh? Um, Kira teams up with a student at the animal sanctuary to track down a paradise parrot. The paradise. The paradise parrot. A bird thought to be extinct. I th is, it their, is it their take on like the Tasmanian tiger? Because that's what people think is extinct and people look for it. Anyway. And prove that they still exist. While they're trying to observe the elusive bird, Bushfires threaten to wipe out the sanctuary and the parrot's habitat. There is no choice but to evacuate all the animals, which is a huge task, even without trying to track down a missing the a missing baby wallaby. Why is every animal missing? I don't know. She's an idiot. This seems like a problem. As the bushfires rage out of control, Kira makes a disturbing discovery. Should she keep her mouth shut or tell a painful truth? What the heck? Kira is thrilled to leave Michigan behind to spend part of her summer helping animals in Australia. There, she and her mom stay with her great aunts, Mammy and Lynette, who run the, the Bailey Family Wildlife Sanctuary and Vet Clinic. Kira's story isn't all animal cuddles and cuteness, though. <laughs> not, not like Nikki. <laughs> she faces challenges about everything, from friendship to dealing with family health scares to taking responsibility for her mistakes. <laughs> what? Is this everything, the same everything. thing? Okay. And then I guess, like, her um, aunt has heart disease and is in the hospital for half the book. It's just a really bad so, time for her. Wait, so she's, like, locking herself in her tent and doesn't want to get out after she makes mistakes. <laughs> like, honestly, honestly. Uh, I'm honestly, honestly pleasantly. I like her story. I do. I because like here's, it. here's the thing. It's we, real. Okay, we have... Except for the missing animals every five minutes. That's a little weird. And then that, like, caused her to be, like, crazy or but, something. I, we don't know our facts completely, guys, so don't, like, come at us. Just tell us in the comments what we got wrong, and we'd love to, like, talk about it, bro. But, um, here's the thing, is we... Ha a lot of people compare her story to Jess's story because she goes out... Of, I mean, out of the country. Or Leah because she goes out of the country... Um, and a lot of people are comparing her to Nikki because Nikki takes care of a, um, a eventual, a service a animal and, like, that she's just, like, the dog girl, whatever. Anyway, like, okay, Leah had kind of, Leah's, Leah's story was kind of, <laughs> eh, Jess's story was kind of just, like, missing something. I feel like this combined everything into a good... She seems 
realistic and grounded to me. I like that she is given flaws where, you know, she doesn't, um, she likes to be prepared and when everything is out of her control, she avoids things that are upsetting to her. That feels really realistic to me, just on a basic level. As far as, like, the plot goes, I, I think that it's great. I think that it's, it's important to be discussing the climate change and bushfires and blah, 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 blah. I think that's really cool. I think it's really cool that she has two aunts, and it's just that, a normal thing that's that... That's an awesome thing to represent for American Girl. I'm really proud of them for doing that, because, like, they have avoided it's it for so long. It's been a long time long. coming, and... Yeah. I just feel like they combined stories in the best way. Like, it seems similar, but guys, I think this is its own new thing. And it's relevant, because it's, like, times right now and things like that. Like, it's all real stuff, and we did have those bushfires, and they were devastating. They killed animals, and, like, it's kind of inspiring for girls along with, like, the friendship thing. Um, it is kind of funny, though, how they're just, like, battling over the fact that, like, I was supposed to take care of the koala. But overall, I think that... And the heart disease. Like, my gosh. Yeah, like, she has appreciate... struggles. Like, she, appreciate... she has real struggles, That which is what I... It sounds wrong, but it's what I look for in a girl of the year. I don't want it to just be, like, she likes this. Oh, my God. Will she be able to dance or whatever? Yeah. Like, she's having, like, real problems, like, her... Serious, like, health issues. Her aunt could die, like... Die! Her aunt could die, she could, like... Anyways, we appreciate her story. Is it a little far-fetched at points? Absolutely. Is it a bit unrealistic? Absolutely. Am I gonna excuse it because it's talking about real-world important problems that are really relevant and important? Yeah, kinda I am. So, um, um, I think this is the highlight area of her entire well-being, um, and I'm actually really impressed with her story. I'm, I'm not gonna going to lie. I'm going to give her story an 8.5. An 8.5 to me. I think this is a fresh new thing that, I, I mean, we saw it with Joss. We're seeing it with her. We're seeing a good pattern with stories here. They just really went wrong with the look, and there isn't much to her collection. But, um, I mean, this girl of the year isn't... One that I particularly hate. It's okay. so. Anyways, putting that together, she, oh, it's a five. Anyways, we just looked back at our old ranking video of Girl of the Years, and honestly, just watching it, we would change our like ranking nowadays to what we said. I don't know when was this video posted. Uh, two years ago, pretty much. So we definitely changed our ranking from then. Um, so it's kind of difficult we, to place her in. The thing about that is that um. In that series, we didn't put the scores, like, up, like, at the, like, with the score of whatever she's in this place, so it's hard to tell. We would have to look through the name, all that, that, and then do a bunch of math to kind of so, see, like, who's so a little anyways, bit higher. to save you the trouble, um, she's, in she, the, she's right in the middle, I mean. She is upper middle, which is good. She's around Joss area, which is good. Joss is a good... Good God. It's a good place to be. She is not the best girl of the year. She, I would never consider her in the top three. Like, she's not one of the greats, like. But she is a perfectly fine girl of the year who holds her own weight. So, congratulations. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you. I hope you're able to keep up with it, because honestly, yeah, it's really it's confusing. Yeah, it's weird energy. Um, bye. Smell you later.